Today we're going to talk about wonderful pictures that you can make with very simple shapes using children's modeling clay. The shapes that we're going to use are a big square, a little square, a big circle, a little circle, an oval, a star, a heart, and a little triangle. We're also going to use, at certain points, a cutter, a cutting tool. But other than that, these are all the tools we're going to use and we're going to make some pictures with modeling clay. And uh, the first picture that we're going to do is trees. So spruce trees and pine trees are great ways to start and we're going to start with just the simple triangle. And we're going to have our nice evergreen tree. I'm just going to put three triangles together and now we have an evergreen tree. We could also use the heart shape to make a more robust spruce tree like so. So now we have two examples of trees that we just made using triangles and hearts. And since we're on plants and uh, the heart shape, we can put one heart like that, put another heart next to it, put another heart next to that one, and put another heart next to that one, and when we wedge them all together, we have a flower. We can do things that are also more mechanical. We've talked about nature, but here we are. We're going to take an oval and a triangle and a big square and another triangle and another triangle and then two small circles and we're going to have a robot. And you can see our robot and if we wanted to we could put a face on him and he's maybe he's on Mars and he's going to be going to explore the red planet or maybe he's a helper robot he's in your house doing your dishes but again all shapes just simple shapes from those cutouts We can do something even larger. Let's say we take a triangle and we put it there and we take a small circle and then we take a big circle and then we take another big circle and then we take an oval and then we take a small circle and then we take a small square and a small square and a green triangle followed by another green triangle followed by another green triangle some of you junior paleontologists know what's going on here I think we have a stegosaurus so we made a stegosaurus using a triangle a circle two big circles, an oval, a circle, two squares, and then triangles for his plates. Who to think, who think that you could make a dinosaur using just simple shapes? Now what about that cutting tool that we mentioned? 
Well, let's go back to our purple flower. I'm going to take our four hearts and put them back together and make our flower. So we're back to that old blue flower made out of four hearts. I'm going to take away three hearts. And then I'm going to put that green square, small green square, and I'm going to take my cutting tool and I'm just going to cut and cut. There. Now I have another kind of flower that I just made. That cutting tool came in handy. Here's a star, a purple star. Who to think, who think that you could take a purple star? And we're going to put the green square under it. I'm going to take my cutting tool and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to cut. Now our star has become a purple flower. Last but not least, our turtle. I have a green circle. A blue circle. And I have two blue green triangles. I'm going to take our cutting tool and I'm going to make, instead of having two triangles, we're now going to have four triangles. And now I'm just going to take these pieces, going to give him an arm here, and an arm here, and an arm, leg here, and a leg here. And now we have a turtle. Thank you so much for your time. This is Jeff with Prairie Scholar, where we play to learn and learn to play. Have a good day. Bye-bye.